Good evening. Welcome to Platform Media International PMI Political Arena. Tonight, we are looking at the confusion and conflicts between the Kano State Government and the Emirate Council of Kano, led by the Emir of Kano, um, um, Sanusi. Um, as you all know, the governor of Kano State has split the Emirate of Kano into five Emirates and making the, have thereby whittled the power of Emir of Kano. As I speak to you, we have Kano Emirate, Rano Emirates, Gaia Emirate, uh, Karaye and Bichi Emirates. And Kano has 10 municipalities and Rano has 10 municipalities municipalities. Uh, tonight I have in the studio my very good friend Obi Inziadiwe. Obi, welcome to the program. Thank you, Joe. Um, the issues in Nigeria keep coming up. Um, the one that we have now is that uh, the government waving power and tampering with the basics of our culture. That's what we hold fast. As a matter of fact, I want to say with all um, emphasis and certainty that I know that the traditional cultures is what Nigerians hold very fast because that's where all of us grew up from. Um, it is even stated that uh, where I come from in Edo State, Oba, not they go transfer. That's to tell you how people believe that the traditional council cannot be tampered with. But in the case of Kano, it's, it's not that the, the enemy of Kano is going on transfer, but his power has been whittled down. Obi, what is this? It's an interesting development. Uh, I, I like what is happening in Kano. It, it saddens me though, but uh, it, it is the inevitable consequence of people failing to learn uh, the lessons of history. Uh, you know, uh, this is not the first time we've had an incident of this nature. Uh, in 1963 or so, the grandfather of the current emir uh, was also deposed. Uh, he was removed from office and uh, went into exile to a place called uh, Azare, uh, you know, uh, paving the way for Ada Bayara to become the, the emir. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's something in the DNA of the Sanusis that makes them to oppose the government in power. Uh, if a government can appoint you and give you a certificate of authority to be an emir and provide the funding to, to run your emirate, uh, you owe them certain respects. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you get what I mean, you, you owe a, a, a certain obligation to the government of the day. Uh, the government in power uh, cannot uh, accept opposition from one of its own. Okay. And uh, in Nigeria, where we respect the traditional institution, we, we, we expect uh, uh, the Absolute. MAN, uh, not, 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 not absolute obedience to the government in yeah. power. Uh, Circumspicion, you know, uh, uh, in the conduct of the traditional ruler. Uh, you cannot have uh, the Oba of Benin meddle into politics of a do state. If he has issues with the government, there are back routes uh, to reach the, the governor government. and express his concerns. You know, but when you come to join the opposition political party, when you come to challenge uh, the government in power, uh, there will be consequences. Okay. Obi. You and I know that uh, Adu Bayero, uh, no, uh, Sanusi, the current emir, mm -hmm. was one of those people who, who campaigned vigorously against Jonathan. Yes. And perhaps people thought he was an APC man. And uh, now, uh, APC government is uh, treating him this way. It shows that the man is not, an, is not, is not constituting himself to an opposition. But he said that the man valued the truth. What do you say to that? Well, uh, if you study his philosophy, he says that his he, his the most important principle in his life is to tell truth to, to power. power. 
you know, no matter how bitter that truth is. But he seems to have a complex problem himself. He seems to have uh, 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 a split personality uh -huh. syndrome. Uh, you cannot belong to the ruling class uh, while trying to uproot that, that ruling that class. class. You know, this is a man that uses two Rolls Royces. You know, those are not cheap cars. Okay. Uh, he flies private jets. And uh, you want to claim to be speaking for the masses. And if you want to speak for the masses, you have to drop the privileges of class and, and be I, on the side of the masses. And in Kano, it's called Talakawa. Yes. Does he belong to the Talakawa? He, he does not. He's not uh, an incarnation of Aminu Kano. You know, he, he lives like a bourgeois. You know, he has class. You know, uh, he within three or four years in office, he had squandered 4.3 billion naira of the Emirates Fund, you know, so I, I like his style of politics, say it, say it to the government in power. But leave it. But you, you cannot be part of that power while trying to approach that power. You know, that's the problem in Kano. But why, you, you mentioned just now that it seems to, that people do not, are bad students of history. Mm. Um, in 1980, let's come most recent, in 1980, um, uh, Abubakar Karimi tried it with that Dubai Aero. Mm. And the consequences was grave, and as of fact, led to serious riot and loss of life. Mm. Um, Part of the reason, people now suspect that part of the reason why Buhari government was brought down in 1985 was the suspicion of, uh, of uh, Oni of Ife and the same enemy of Kano. Mm -hmm. And a government wanted to try it in a do state where you have Oba Bini. And this song came out, Oba, not the go transfer. Mm -hmm. And that's to tell you how people hold fast to this. So, uh, if it is not broken, don't fix it. If it is not, if it is not something that you should tamper with, why tamper when you know it's not going to work? Why is government using that strategy when they know the consequences are grave? Well, so far there hasn't been any rioting in in Kano. Uh, Sanusi himself, were, if he was uh, principled, uh, would have tendered his resignation as emir after failing to clinch the governorship uh, seat for the PDP. Uh, if his massive support for Atiku didn't yield the presidency for Atiku, the natural thing to do would have been to, to apologize and say, it was all politics, I'm sorry for what I did or what I said. But he, he kept himself in opposition to both the government at the center and the government at Kanu State. And no one can come to his rescue at this point in time, unless, the public law, yes, can rise up to defend him. Or he uh, could champion a political movement that will, that will unseat this government and restore the Emir Emirate back to its former status. From, I know that you're a very good student of history. Do you think that this age-long historic uh, emirate of Kano that has strong political uh, historical significance mm. being dissipated into five emirates, mm. you think it will hold over time? Uh, it will. It certainly will. Because what the government, uh, you know, it is wrong for it to happen. But as soon as you name someone an emir, he goes to become an emir. And enjoy, and enjoy the privileges, the uh, yes. And he has his supporters, supporters, and they will do everything in their power to sustain to it. sustain that emirate, no matter how little it is. So it, it is going to happen, you know. But now it's now left for 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 the supporters of Sanusi to see if they can push for a change of government, either in 2023 or any year thereafter, and abolish this new emirate. So you just mentioned that, that even the people that have been asked to lead this emirate, mm. if, they, if, they, if they consolidate power and sustain it, mm. when it is reversed in the future, will that bring another problem? It will bring another problem. So yeah. government has set the say for political uh, and uh, some uh, bad consequences. Of course, the yes. The, the, the actions of the government was not uh, very carefully uh, thought out. You know, uh, people of color are usually that way when you 
uh, when you have the power. Uh, yeah, when you hurt them, they, they don't yeah. think about the consequences of their action. You know, uh, this is an emirate that had been in existence since 1805, 1805. Uh, more than 200 years, that uh, a mere governor who doesn't have more than 20 or 30 years to live is trying to destroy, you know. I, I personally visited uh, the Emir's the palace in, in 1983 as a student union leader, and uh, I, I was blown away by the grandeur of that of the, of the There is no single modern structure within the Emir's place. As you approach the Emir, Emir's uh, palace, you are welcomed by Tradition. beautiful girls, you know, on both sides singing. And when you go into the Emir's place, you you have to sit on the floor. English is not spoken in that palace. You know, it is the culmination of our culture. You come out there feeling proud, not only as a Nigerian but also as a black man. That is what the governor is trying to destroy. You know, it's, it's shameful. And and he has set the people against each other because the Rano Emirate is now headed by the son of the former Emir who died, Ado Bayo. And who should have been the rifle Emir, mm -hmm. if we go by and the way. People, they played politics and brought... Uh, yes, and was, yes. So it boils down to the fact that if you ride a lion, what it, happens? Yes, you might end up uh, as food in his tummy. <laughs> well... <laughs> um, you asked, uh, we, we, I thought we gave it a good trashing about the Emirates, the troubled Kano Emirates. Emirates, Kano Emirates split into how many? One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Bichi, Karaye, Gaia, Rano, and Kano. And as Chino uh, Achebe will say, things are not that easy. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> In Kano. Well, uh, that's it. Uh, viewers, um, the Kano Emirates are no longer at ease. I want to thank Obi for coming to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll keep watching what's going to happen and how it's going to turn out. Because this thing don't happen overnight. People have maybe, people have gone on that to start planning and see how these issues will be resolved. They have violently or they accept it. Uh, we we'll watch over it. We ask thank you for keeping a date with us. This is Platform Media International Political Arena. Thank you, Nobi, as our usual guest, and hope we'll see you again on this program next time we invite you. Thank you. Our viewers still tuned with us. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm yours sincerely, Joe Ezizode. Before I go, thanks to our producer who's behind the camera. And I'll see you again next week. Have a good night. Bye-bye.